Yeah, or whatever comes up to make 14 pounds. See? <laughs> Gosh, I love that. That's not a big one, though. <laughs> Look how fat they are. Yeah, I think it's good. <laughs> Practice day two with the legend Phil Borsa. How many times have you made the All American? Five-time All-American qualifier, Phil Borsa. He rubs it into me all the time. He says, why haven't you ever made one? He tells me he's really good and all that stuff, don't you, Phil? No. Oh. I'm a retired has-been. Retired? Retired! BFL angler, Phil Borsa. He won't stay there long. He'll come back out of retirement. He won't be able to take it. He'll catch him a few brown fish today and maybe a few green fish and he'll remember what it's like. A 274 largemouth on the AccuCall. Something on the jerk bait. I didn't take long. Well, first catch was good. Look at all the minnows. One there, here, yeah. Oh, there's one. Oh, that might be a smallie. Gotta be a smallie. He's jumping like this. Smaller, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a smallie. I like catching them on a jerk bait as well, but there ain't nothing more fun to catch Not very many and not for a long time. When it first got popular, I threw a little bit fun fishing, but they like it on St. Clair. Better than the meat hole? No. That one. no. Always bigger on the meat hole. Smally. Yeah, they're uh no. I mean sometimes they're here. Right now that's what's here apparently. Stop it. There's no reason for all that misbehaving. Stop it. Stop it. Smally number two. Nice Alabama rig. A good one. 2.10. Who are you going with to the regional? Oh, yeah. I was half oh. tempted. Damn, that thing hit that thing hard. <laughs> oh, definitely a keeper. I got a little swim there. I'll throw that. Ooh, better fish. Yeah, they found it, I think. Eight. Being a little. Being a quarter. High tech. Kytex slammer. Messing up oh, the yeah. Kytex this morning. Oh, Three and a half, maybe. We'll bring out the... We'll get the liars out of both of us. One pound. <laughs> oh. 386. Good fish. You know what I did? I would have had to check that I had over 19. I catch a 429. Pull a 276 out of the live well. My co angler yells for the net. I put the coal tag in the 429 and threw the 429 back. Oh, shit. Yeah, and I ended up weighing in a 306. Otherwise, that you know, that'd give me a pound and a quarter coal. I'd have had 19 something. Okay. <laughs> I've never done that before. He goes, Oh, I got a big one. It wasn't really his fault or anything. I just see so he just a stupid. This sucker's got a catfish chase in it, Phil. Really? No, you don't, no lie. It's only a little catfish. What do you think you're at? The Tolman? He was, he was like a, that long. Oh, there's one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Another little, I say three. You out of the game for a while. Yeah. Wow. I forgot who I was fishing with. <laughs> At least of these other guys in inland and they just a little small mouth. Three 
304. 304. That used to be some Hollywood stuff. Hollywood. Hollywood! How far out in that way? See them right here? whole bunch of them. They're kind of like the bottom. See them right up. there? Oh, yeah. Okay. See my A-Rig just hit above them. Just watching them react to it. Yep, see yeah. him coming? Yeah, no, I see why these guys are so addicted to that. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Probably pulled them in and tried to follow them. Oh, there's still like eight or ten left back in there. Sitting on the ball. Watch my rig fall. Here comes my rig. Look at it. Oh, no, like. It's okay. Let's see if I can see my big ball from back here. Oh, you can. Hit it just right. You got a 20 degree ball. Oh, that one's going to hit it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> watch him smoke it. You can come up here if you want to watch it. Uh, there's one. Ooh, okay, I have a decent one, but I got to spin it out. Uh oh. Which color was he? Come on, Phil. Come on, Phil. What's, what's, have you ever caught one of those before? What's taking you so long? <laughs> I was trying to figure out what to bring, what you'd be up to. Sneaky. Sneaky guy. Look at the swim bait. Okay Scott Dobson. What do you know? Yeah, how far down are you? Oh, up there. Oh, come on here. Catching them on an Alabama rig. You like doing that? Here you can catch nine pounders doing that. Cheaper anyway. You heard that Erie's been stingy? Well, who's talking to? Guys that don't like to play Erie? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. You have to be behind Scott Dobson. Uh oh. Uh oh. Phil, Phil, Borsa. Phil Borsa's got some drag feeling back here. What you got going on back there, Phil Borsa? Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, I got a little one. Oh. It's gonna be a warm one today, Mr. Dobson. Oh, are you in? Are you in shallow water in Anchor Bay? What should I expect? Chad? So we got we got we got we got a five bash limit. But I didn't weigh, I didn't weigh, I didn't weigh Phil's. Okay, maybe he's not going to beat yours. I don't know, it'll be a close. I wish I hooked everyone like that, right in that meaty part of the corner, or just above the corner of the mouth, through the lip where you can't get it out. Holy moly. Pretty rare. I have to use pliers to get a hook. Out. Big, you big twerp! You threw my, you threw my cricket. Let's see if you can shatter the 426 of the Borsa. Can I trust you? Son of a gun. 416. Dang, nab it. My first. I caught a four pounder though. Better First four pounder of the day for me. Phil's got a 426. This is a 416. He looked like he was a five when he jumped. 1958. Can we break the 20 pound mark? That goby is killer on a dead head, on bedded fish. It's insane how much faster you can get him to bite it throw that thing on a jig head and hop it down there, oh my gosh. Better than, better than that gill you were talking about? For small mouths. The gill is good for the large mouths. That goby is amazing. I don't know how many fish I caught on it this spring. I would like, I like to throw a drop shot on them because you got a higher landing percentage on a drop shot. So I'll throw that on there first. You know, anything with a jig head. Midday fishing report. Uh oh, Phil. Phil's doing that. About noon. 
We're just shy of 20 pounds. Uh, you saw some morning action. Pulling up the spots, catching one, and then none. Even though I can see them on live scope, I can't get the other ones to bite. Sometimes we catch two, but it's rare. Biggest fish, 426 so far. So we can catch five of those, plus a six pounder. But that's the way the day's going. We've been drop shot in the Ned rigging, sniper goby. Baby Z2. In the next few hours, we can land on a pile of five pounders and I can make sure Phil's big bass of 426 gets put to shame. We'll just pull him out. <laughs>